Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time we're reviewing on the Lego Batman movie. Now, the Lego Batman movie is technically meant to be a bit of a spin-off to the Lego Batman movie. I mean, to the Lego movie. Now, pretty much the film is about Batman, who lives, who mainly lives his daily life in his, in his manner, being by himself, watching films, and such. And he's actually shown to be a bit of a man-child. And this kind of causes Alfred to worry for him. And kind of, and kind of acts like the more mental figure as well. And at the same time, other characters try and help him out. Like, like Barbara Gordon, who becomes the new commissioner. And meant to be kind of like Bruce's love interest. But Bruce eventually does accept that her more more as a work colleague. You got Dick Grayson here who is kinda of like your typical fanboy and wants Batman and Bruce Wayne to approve of him. And at the same time it's shown that the Justice League are heavily employed to to kind of leave Batman out of parties and activities. For example, during the whole 57th annual Justice League party, they kind of exclude him from it, hinting that they feel a bit uncomfortable with him and his kind of and his kind of childish and if not immature behaviour. Now what's interesting as well is you have Joker who is desperately wanting to prove to Batman I want to be your arch nemesis, and Batman has this way of saying, No, you are not my arch nemesis. And it's shown that he goes to extreme lengths just to try and prove it. Now, what's also great about the film is that there is so many Easter eggs, references, jokes, and so on. For example, you've got the mention about the parade, like a as a reference to the 1989 Batman film. And you know when Barbara Gordon's introducing all the years of Batman, references to how many years he's been. And also when Alfred mentions throughout all the years Batman's been on the force, like references to Batman Returns, Batman vs Superman, also like, like the 1960s Batman, there are so many easter eggs with it. And what's also great about the film is that you've got the actor who played Randall Calrissian finally voicing Two-Face. I know Tim Burton had plans for Two-Face that later got canned. But I'm glad they brought him back to to do this thing. And the main the main the more of the film is to accept your family and anyone can be your family and your friends. And I have to admit the voice actor for Batman actually does a great job. Now I know that even after the Batman movie ended, there is still some of the toy lines still coming in, Lego figures and so on. So I have to admit the movie does a pretty great job in using Lego figures. I know there's been more coming into the woodworks after the film's release, like Orca, Joker, Mr. Freeze, Batman, Batgirl, Commissioner Gordon, and so on. And I am hoping to pick up some more Lego figures when I can. So what do I think of the Lego Batman movie? It is definitely a pretty good Batman film. It is definitely enjoyable. And definitely fun to watch. So I give it a good thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So Comic Reviewer here, signing out.